Hello everyone, this is Azir, and welcome back. I'm playing Food Fantasy here, and before I get into this video, I want to give a shout to Sashi Longchar. Azir, please show us how to make gold, which food to sell while in-game, and which to sell while going off. Thank you for your video, as, as always. Hello Azir, I'm late, but can you tell me how to make gold? A guide how you make so much gold, smiley face. <laughs> um, I'm going to try to answer your question here. So this video is actually going to be um, how I make gold in food fantasy. I hope it's helpful for you and anyone else who is curious on how I make gold. Um, thank you again for that suggestion, Sashi, and taking the time to watch my video and leave me that comment. So first thing I'd like to start off with is if you buy the monthly pack, you are provided uh, two bonus clicks here at uh, obtaining gold based on your level with some bonus. Um, so it's a little plus sign here next to your goal, so make sure you click that. Otherwise you would have to spend crystals, which I would not urge you all to not do. <laughs> crystals are very rare, so try to keep them if you can. Don't use them to, to get gold. Um, so I wouldn't, wouldn't click, that, uh, click that button unless you have the monthly pack and you get two free clicks. Um, how I've saved up so much gold too is probably because um, I... I, I don't, I have a lot of fallen angels here, as you can see, and um, I uh, I don't really level them up too much. <laughs> I like maybe keep like maybe my top, I don't know, 10 or so, um, anything that's A+, plus, and then they're mostly like an attack speed one, a brave one, a defensive one, and a HP one, and then I just kind of rotate them. As you can see, no one's added to this one here, and I could just, I just rotate them basically. Um, if someone needs HP, I put it on my, on my tank, for instance, or uh, br uh, uh, defense on my uh, tank so I can go to disasters, or resolute on my attack speed uh, fallen angels, or food souls, excuse me. So, I very rarely make duplicates of fallen angels, is what I want to say, and that saves a lot of gold, because uh, fallen angels do cost quite a lot when you start enhancing them to a higher level. So you can see here, one here, the level 10 one here. So when I enhance it, as you can see there, almost 500,000 just to level, <laughs> for a chance to level up to 10. So that's a pretty big chunk. Um, but yeah, let's move forward here and uh, try to explain how I make gold. I apologize for that little, little um, misdirection there. So uh, your restaurant is very important, so leveling it up, is very very key to uh, getting more seats which get more customers which will then make you more gold a uh, little bit of a chain effect there so in each cuisine the um, Gloryville uh, Soraka Jima or Light Kingdom um, there are sp specific foods that help you with either fame to level up your restaurant or gold to get gold um, I chose luckily I had chosen um, the uh, Light Kingdom, which is actually uh, the same dish that provides gold and fame. And that is the butter bread, as you can see here. So, butter bread is the Light Kingdom's way to get fame and gold. Um, you want to try to make sure you, when you look for fame, you want to look for um, cuisines that have at least 2,000 in their flavor, and you basically max out the flavor to get the fame there. Um, to help level it up, you feed your <laughs> feed your recipes with specific seasonings, such as ice misting here. As you can see, four arrows. Uh, condensed milk is only three, and while the others don't really have too many. Um, as you can see here, there's two there, there's one there, and two there. So um, make sure you always add seasoning. We can do a test run here. So cold tofu, we'll make one. And as you can see, it was plus four in flavor. Oops, no, I forgot to uh, add seasoning. Let's add seasoning here to dice scallions, use and make. And as you can see there, plus six more just for that. Um, so it was definitely, definitely beneficial if you add seasonings there. Um, so back to the recommendation, recommendations uh, for the Light Kingdom, butter bread for fame, and for gold in the Light Kingdom, butter bread as well. Uh, for the Sarakajima, 
is cold tofu for fame and um it is crab sashimi let's see if i can find it here for gold crab sashimi here is for gold in the sarcojima um, i do not have glory bill i should obtain it i think i can obtain it now let's see go to research here um improve develop develop nope not that one is it nope refine ah it's refined there it is there it is <laughs> click unlock so once you max up all the 30 menu items of one cuisine you can actually unlock the next one or the next whichever one you choose so i'm going to click glory bill um, I didn't really want to unlock it because now I have to <laughs> improve so many different dishes now um, or create so many different dishes, but it's okay. Um, it's for everyone here. So now we have Gloryville and my single dish there. Um, let's go back to all. So um, for Gloryville, uh, to obtain fame, it's pineapple juice and to obtain gold is crab salad. Um, I don't think I can actually see it here in uh, in the glory Reveal cuisine yeah I can't um, I think that's that's part of the crab salad down here and the pineapple juice I think is is that this one I think that's the pineapple juice right there food drink um, leg crabby <laughs> so yeah I hope that was helpful um, for everyone so just make sure you always add your seasoning that we can level it up uh, quicker as you make your, your recipes um, and uh, yeah apologies if that's kind of a short video but again thank you Sashi for leaving that suggestion um, if anyone has any questions feel free to let me know or ask it and leave a comment below uh, thank you everyone for tuning in if you can please like the video if you like the video dislike the video if you dislike the video subscribe you won't be notified of any of my future content and as always everyone take care